Look at the map. I may actually just have no idea what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay. So I think we go this way. And consider the burning and then go through this one. Alternately, we can just fight two regular. That also seems okay. The burning is actually a little nicer in that we have the rest after it. Seems fine. All right, give me something good, boss relic. Pandora's box. Oh, this is not good, actually. <laughs> These visions are dead cards. I guess for the rainbow, it's okay. Oh my gosh. Hyper Beam will get us through Act 1. Buffer is our block for Act 1. I'm not sure if we can handle any elites, though. Static Discharge, maybe? Oh, this is so bad. What? Well, huh. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. This does not look good. Hyper Beam is good. Everything else. I don't know how we beat elites. Oh, man. Okay. All right, all right. You get what you get. You'd be surprised. <laughs> hey, Blaster Pastor, how's it going? I'd be surprised by what? This looks real bad. I guess I exhaust the visions as quickly as possible. Same with the rainbow, and then I just try to cycle Hyper Beam as fast as I can. One, two. Everything exhausts except Zap, Dual Cast, and Hyper Beam. I guess I just play everything out, and then I just play Hyper Beam every turn. Is that right? <laughs> also, maybe I should be infinite hunting because because I have no cards. Everything exhausts. Where is the power? That is a weird P box. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Gremlin Hyper Beam is the solution to most Act It is. It is, except for Logavolant and Gremlin Knot. I'm not sure about Logavolant and Gremlin Knot. You you are correct. It'll it'll be excellent. The rest of the time. I think I play this out. Wait. Is this lethal? Not necessarily. It may be lethal. Now it's lethal. Alright. There we go. Solutions. We're finding solutions. <laughs> Do I want any of these? Not really. Is force field good? Force field might be good. I have two powers. Force field's not good enough. It's not good enough. The stack, no good. Everything exhausts. Uh, go for the eyes. No, I would take um, a beam cell. I think a beam cell would help a lot with hyper beam. All right, I think we're skipping. Oh man, this is going to be so weird. Oh, I love the face swap. Got to do the face swap. It's just so much fun. The weak will kind of suck. All right, face swap. We got the best face, face of a cleric. Face of cleric. At the end of combat, raise your max HP by one. Excellent. Getting that on floor two is excellent. I mean, that's like what, 30 or 40 hit points? I don't know, it's sci-fi. <laughs> I, I think that was my only point, merely, that it's sci-fi. Do I hyper beam? I can also zap vision for one more card. Zap dual cast, maybe? No, because I can't I can't actually do any damage answer. If I hyper beam this turn, I can hologram hyper beam again. That's 52 damage though. I need one more damage. Where do I get one more damage? Always hyper beam. Always hyper beam, and then, and then what? How do I how do I kill him next turn? I guess if I take three damage next turn, that's okay. Oh, the zap will do. No, the zap will do zero damage. No, it it'll go from three damage to zero damage unless I can evoke it somehow. 
do I play the fission to get it out? I think I do. I don't want it in my deck. I don't want to draw though, because if I accidentally draw a hologram, I'll be real sad. But yeah, we'll do that for zero. Yeah, so I think I think we still hologram the hyper beam. We could also hologram the buffer. Yeah, no crack core. We could also hologram the buffer and then next turn. Hyper beam, does that work? No, because we still we'll still be off by one. Alright, right. This is fine. Whatever. In your face. Three damage. It's fine. And we got one back from the face of Cleric. So that's totally okay. Self repair? I also don't hate a hello world in this deck. Like the lightning orb is actually not very good, not important. Hello world could be good because I could just use cards. You know what pairs well with hyper beams? Plasma, plasma orbs? Plas plasma orbs would be nice. Claw? <laughs> Does it? <laughs> I'm not convinced of that. I may take the self repair. It's kind of like block. Hyper beam, let's go. All right. I don't want any of these. I want plasma orbs. I want to recycle. I want card draw maybe. I think I just want physical cards. Maybe I take a steam barrier. Lean, lean heavy into the hyper beam. Steam Barrier is not bad. I like I like Steam Barrier. Especially in hallway fights. See, I need some block, so... Also, I didn't draw it. Well, that's a problem. I could Zap, Hologram, Zap, Vision for two more cards. For two cards and two energy. Didn't get there. Well, shoot. I guess we can stop all the damage though. Cool. Hyper beam next turn. Yes. Kill the front one. I'm gonna take damage, so I don't love that. We exhausted almost everything. Ooh, I can repair. Not that that helps me. What am I playing here? I'm definitely playing Steam Barrier. I'm probably playing Self Repair. I can't believe the one card I missed was Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam will kill, so I just want to block as much as possible. Can I get the Frost Orb in front? Let's see, if I Rainbow, Zap, but then I don't have enough energy. Okay, okay. And the Frost Orb in and of itself doesn't do anything for me. I guess this will evoke a little bit. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Ow. It's fine. We lost some health. It's okay. Cool-headed chaos. I'm a little tempted to take the cool headed because we could maybe get an infinite with with cool headed. Cool headed and medi and uh, plasma is enough, right? I guess it has to be cool headed pluses and a plasma. But then we don't actually get block if our focus is down too low. Chaos maybe would give us a plasma, but I think it's still not great. I'm going to take the cool headed for now because it's card draw, although I'd maybe rather have a compile driver. Because I don't think we're getting any block out of it. It's literally just draw a card. Pay one, draw a card. That actually feels really bad. Never mind. I'm skipping. All right. This is all crap. See, I don't know what we do against elites. What is the upgrade here? Oops. 34? Like, the buffer upgrade is probably more useful for me at this point. Also, how am I going to beat the boss? I don't know. I guess we're upgrading. Let's 
Like, if I upgrade the buffer, I can maybe make it through Logavolin and Gremlin Knob okay. I think it's probably okay. It's still a little rough. Sentries should be okay. We just need to hyperbeam twice, right? Repair. This turn might be bad. I also have the potion. Oh, I also have buffer. I think we rainbow and then vision? Because cards? Hologram hyperbeam? Is that enough? 22? All right, no problem. Piece of cake. Just took two damage. Pear? Pear giving me health? Melter? Melter's pretty good. Also might be useful against Guardian. Rainbow into Fission is like a super weird combo, but it's basically draw three cards, get one energy. I kind of like it. <laughs> It's not it's 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 kind of a weird combo, but uh draw three cards is pretty good. Exhaust two, draw three more, get an energy out of it. Uh that kind of it makes it tempting to take a second rainbow, just so I can do it again with the other fission. I feel like I should be looking for block cards though. We got hyperbeam for damage, but we need something for blocking. So also, if ra Rainbow without Vision is just Sadness. So I think we just skip. Okay. Hyper Beam? Now two Hyper Beams should be able to kill anything in Act 1. Except the Elites, of course. Choose an attack, start each combat with it again. Don't need block, just need to become a Ghost Robot. How do I become a Ghost Robot? I think we need some something to block. There are a bunch of good block cards though, like auto shields would be good, and um, equilibrium would be good. Oh, 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 become a ghost robot. Yes, the Act Two event. Well, we gotta make Attack Two first. Okay, I think we bottle the Hyper Beam because we basically want to play Hyper Beam every time. So. Bottling it actually makes Logable and worse. Because I do want to just exhaust everything. But I guess it's okay. And Gremlin Ob is totally fine. Logable and I guess it's fine. We can just cycle three turns and exhaust everything in the process. And then on on turn three, go ahead and hyperbeam. It should come back by then. Two turns to exhaust everything. Third turn, we should pick it up. I think that's okay. I've convinced, I've convinced myself it's fine. Well, these are not the things that we exhaust, but uh, that's okay. Because I don't think we wake him up. I need to exhaust a bunch of this stuff before I wake him up. I can play the zap though. Do I exhaust the hologram? Yeah, get a lightning orb for fission. Should I hologram to get two lightning orbs for fission? I guess so. Sure, why not? So I want to play the buffer. I think I go ahead and fission here because we can draw more. Get rid of the fissions. Get rid of the powers. This is turn two. Uh, and now we're down to four cards. So next turn we wake them up. And we have buffers for two turns. So we're going to get three turns of Hyper Beam. I think we're okay. Let's do this first. Uh, dual cast? Yeah, it'll do a little bit. Buffer will hold me. Yeah. 
There we go. We got we got a tiny deck. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Buff, buffer is fine. Logavolin was was definitely a good fight for us. I think Gremlin Knob would have been a little rougher. But we we still would have had the two turns of buffer, so maybe it would have been fine. Anyway, everything is fine. Hyperbeam, everything is fine. Leap? I don't hate it. It's block. Leap plus is definitely excellent. Especially when we go down to like our last five cards or whatever. Basically it means we get leap and hyperbeam every turn. So we can get 12 block and do a hyperbeam. 12 block, do a hyperbeam. When we upgrade leap. I think it's totally fine. Yeah. When we're down to five cards, it'll be fine. It'll be great. I'm going to upgrade it. It's going to be leap plus. I think we go through this way and then we'll do a bunch of events. I mean, I guess either way is going to be a bunch of events. It's a question of do we want events first or do we want hallway first? It doesn't really matter. Oh, no store. Oh, that's a good question. What do I want in the store? I feel like at this point I have enough to beat Guardian. Leap each turn plus Hyper Beam. Seems like it'll be fine. We'll still take damage, but we have so many hit points, like, I'm not worried about it. So I'm not sure what I want in the store. I guess? Normally you're, like, looking for focus or you're looking for capacitor. Maybe remove power that isn't helping. Yeah, or maybe find a plasma. Like, static discharge isn't helping. Block solution might be there. I feel like we have our block solution, at least for Act 1. Act 2 is a different, a different beast. What I really want is like, I would take a reprogram. I've never done a reprogram deck, but I would take a reprogram at this point. I guess the question is, would I rather have an upgrade or would I rather have the shop? I can upgrade before the boss. That's a good point, Blaster. All right, we'll go to the shop. Oh, look, we can just upgrade right now. We can also get this because the shop is coming next. We can get the warp tongs. Do we want the Warp Tongs? There's not that much to upgrade. But we have so few cards, I like, I don't hate the Warp Tongs. I feel like the Warp Tongs is maybe not too bad. It might accidentally upgrade Rainbow, which is bad. I don't want Rainbow upgraded. I guess that's the, if that's the worst thing that happened, it's not that. Leap upgrade is good, Steam Barrier upgrade is good, Hologram upgrade is good. Zap and Dualcast, I kind of just want to remove. That's what I could do in the shop. I could remove. I could remove a zap. I don't think I take the warp tongs. Even though we can remove the pain. I think we just upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade leap. Upgrading hologram is also interesting because it it maybe lets you play the thing faster. Remove static di static discharge. Is that worse? At least it exhausts or like goes out of my deck. Zap is just going to hang around forever and I'm never going to play it. Let's see what's here. Claw. <laughs> Dolly's mirror. Two hyper beams. I guess both are pretty bleh. Yeah, both are pretty bleh. I agree with that. I'm not taking Claw. I, I don't think Claw is the thing here. I don't think Claw is actually a pick here. Even with the tiny deck, it doesn't seem great. And really, I'm, I'm more concerned about blocking here than I am about dealing damage. I'm dealing plenty of damage already with Hyper Beam. None of these really help my block situation. I mean, I can get another leap or something, I guess. But I think maybe we just remove a card and move on. Oh, I could double the buffer. I could have two buffers. Don't need to block if they're dead. Well, yeah, but that doesn't work on bosses. I'm worried about things like, you know, birds. All the Act 2 stuff I'm worried about. Avocado. 
the the cho uh, the chosen. Those are all going to require like three three or four hits of hyper beam. And do I want to take damage for three or four times? Like not really. All right. Zap or dual cast, they're both pretty bad. Zap for now. Dual cast for now. Probably zap. Okay. Hyper beam? All right. <laughs> Auto shield? Auto shield's pretty good. One energy, 11 block. I think I take it. Another shop? Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Beam cell is tempting as well. It makes our hyper beam do 17 more damage. Also, I could just remove. Abacus would actually be pretty good. One, two, three. Four, five. We have five cards right now. So taking cards is maybe okay. I need an energy source so I can go infinite. I don't know what it is though. Energy source and card draw. I think for card draw, I'd rather use, I don't know, skims, I guess. Uh, I didn't take the beam cell, maybe. Seems like the vulnerable could be really useful. I wish I could take it and do a card remove. Or do I just want to save my gold? To have more options in the future. I feel like I could find a beam cell somewhere. I shouldn't waste gold on it. Let's remove the dual cast. I should maybe have saved my money. But... I didn't. Auto shields or hologram? Actually, hologram is probably fine. An extra, uh, an extra hyper beam, maybe in the beginning. Okay. I would like to play the buffer, but I would also like to play hyper beam. I think we play hyper beam because we'll probably pull into hologram, so we can transform him. And I want to get. Do I want to get the? Both visions out or just one? Because one of them I can combo with Rainbow at least. So maybe I get rid of one of them. I'll prepare for now. All right. Yup, yup, yup. I'm gonna hyper beam you. I'm a little worried I grew all my my block this turn. Next turn I may not have block. It's only, it's only 10. Oh look, I got auto shields. Everything is fine. Exhaust that. Exhaust this. Alright, down to 8 cards. Beam's fine. Hologram into the rainbow, which I can then vision. All right, do I just block up this turn? 17 and then buffer. I'm down to my five cards. This is my deck. This is, this is just what we play each turn. I could block this turn and then that gives me two turns to hyper beam. I think that's okay. Or observer wimps, that's right. <laughs> We had a very weird Pandora's box. So, you know, we do, we do what we can. I guess that's it. I'm not scared of you. All right, this is our hand. This, this is what we do. So here I could... I could auto shield steam barrier hyper beam, which seems totally fine actually.
I mean, he can't actually hurt me. Oh, am I not going to get enough damage when he gets his block? I might not. That's 35. I'm only doing 34. Uh-oh. I got buffer. It's fine. Bu buffer buffer got me. Those cards work surprisingly well together. <laughs> well, we we carefully crafted the cards we wanted. This is this is planned. Wait, wait till we have four energy. Things, things will be much better then. All according, to, yeah, exactly. It's all according to plan. I'm gonna hold on to the thorns because I think if we run into birds, birds are real bad for us. Because one hyper beam is not gonna kill birds. Yeah. Uh, and the Explosive Potion is good against the Act 2 Elites. Echo Form? I think it is, right? Because, you know, we can either block extra, or we can, uh... Although, the blocking extra is going to be a little weird because it doesn't work with Auto Shields. Auto Shields, the doubling won't work. And so we could use it with Leap, but then that means the auto shields itself. We can't play auto shields. And leap auto shields is basically the same thing. I guess it saves us energy. It's also going to be a little weird because we bottled we bottled hyper beam. So if we get echo form turn one, which is when we want it, we're not going to be able to play hyper beam. It's fine. It's fine. We're still taking it. Echo form is still good. <laughs> it's not inserter. Busted crown or fusion hammer. I think both are okay. I kind of like the extra energy. Time for inserter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what we need. Orb slots. Crown is actually kind of interesting. I mean, what cards do we need? Actually, we do need a lot of cards. I think we can go infinite if we're very careful. Because we only have five cards at this point. So I guess it's fusion hammer. All right. Champ. I'm a little scared of Champ. I'm not sure how we beat Champ. Yeah, I don't know how we beat Champ. We can't get enough block, I don't think. After he gets angry, he's just going to eat us. <laughs> I don't really have a good block solution. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried about things. Do you believe? If, 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 if that were enough, if only that were enough. Do I just take all the events? Uh, okay. So are the hallways, or all the elites bad for us? Book of Stabbing is pretty bad. Actually, maybe Book of Stabbing is fine. We can get 20 block pretty consistently. Like 23-ish block. 24-ish block. When he goes up to like 35 or something, we'll take some damage, but that's not, that's not the worst. I think we go this way. We'll see about this elite, but maybe we'll actually go through this elite if we need to heal. We can't upgrade, but we might we might want to heal and then go through an elite. We can go through an elite here, take, hit a shop, maybe hit a third elite. The gremlins should be fine. Hyper Beam will take care of them. Slavers also should be fine. Two rounds of Hyper Beam will kill them. It's just a question of blocking on turn one. But maybe I don't care about that. Maybe we just take take 30 damage against slavers. Okay. Yeah, these guys are a problem too. Buffer? Well, that's actually pretty good. Okay, I could buffer. It'll block the damage. Alternately, I could Steam Barrier, Hologram, Steam Barrier. That'll give me 11 plus 5. I should just buffer, right? Yeah, just buffer. I can Tempest into Vision 
just for card draw. I think I just leap self repair and then next turn we hyper beam. No problem. No problem. Full health. Let's go. Yeah, we are fine. Hallways, hallways are no problem. I'm a little worried about this. I may drink here. Because Hyper Beam only does 17 to each. Also, I'm going to take a ton of damage, aren't I? It's fine. This is why, this is why I saved the potion. Hyper Beam, Self Repair, Fission. Tempest. Wait, what am I looking for? Buffer is not useful. Static Discharge, I guess. Three hits, he kills himself. <laughs> Static Discharge was pretty good. <laughs> that Static Discharge. Hyper Beam? Alright. Everything is fine. No problem. I think this is a skip. These don't, these don't actually seem to be useful. I am a little worried about Avocado and friends. Okay, so this is going to make me vulnerable. Do I do this? He'll then be doing 30 damage. I need buffer, don't I? I guess I can leap plus steam barrier. That gives me 18, and he'll do 31 damage. I guess. I don't know what else I can do. I don't think I can wait. I mean, I'm going to take 27 otherwise. Oh. Did I know that that was coming? I don't think I did. Well, that's too bad. Buffer would have been real nice there. Buffer would be real nice here, too. Uh, Rainbow Fission? Okay. I could pull into the buffer. Hologram buffer? Seems reasonable. Too bad I can't play Echo Form. So I guess I would play... Self Repair. And get Tempest out of my hand. And then we're down to our last five cards. Our, our standard hand. I think I got a Hyper Beam, right? While I'm frail, I can't block enough. Can I? Uh, 17, 20. I can only do 20. Well, I could with Hologram. Oh, that's, a, that's an idea. I can leap Hologram leap. 18, 21. Yeah, he's not getting stronger. I should do that. Because he doesn't always do 21 damage. Sometimes only does 12, which I can block. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Okay, that's better. I don't even lose a buffer. This deck is fine. Charge battery? Does that help? I like having the five card deck actually. So I think I skip it. I need a I need to figure out a way to go infinite though. No, we're not gonna become a vampire. Remove an upgrade? 
Actually, the upgrade of random card is not very useful. I could transform two. But what would I transform? At this point, auto shield is not that good. It was good when we picked it up. But now leap is just better. Also, I haven't used echo form at all. So it's a little, it's a little weird. I don't want to upgrade a random card. Auto shield is more than steam barrier. Well, but steam barrier costs zero. Auto shield only does more some of the time. Like I can hologram, I can steam barrier hologram steam barrier for one energy, but it gives nothing after a while. But in hallway fights, that that never happens. You, it never gets to zero in a hallway fight. But yes, even in even against a boss, it rarely gets that low. Like maybe you'll play it three times or something. But since it costs zero energy, it's fine. I guess I would rather remove a card. I actually don't want to upgrade a random though. Transform is also bad because I don't want to transform something that exhausts into something that doesn't exhaust. Like rainbow plus is worse for me than rainbow because at least rainbow exhausts. Static discharge. Yeah, that's a fine card to remove. So we could do the remove and upgrade. I'm just worried it's going to hit rainbow, but I guess it's a pretty low probability. And that's the only one I, I don't care about. Remove static discharge. I want to remove one of the cards that that are cycling. Or that, that don't exhaust. Because uh, when we finally get the infinite, I, I don't know what the infinite looks like. We neither have energy nor card draw in our deck. Uh, we need both of those to make an infinite. Um, having fewer cards will make it much easier to to get there. All right, I'm going to take my chances. Maybe Steam Barrier is better. The benefit of getting rid of Steam Barrier is that in the beginning when we're setting up, Auto Shields does way more than Steam Barrier. And we have plenty of energy, I think, when setting up. So maybe Steam Barrier is no good. All right. Vision Plus, that's fine. It's, it's not good, but it, it's not bad. Let's go through this Elite. Because we can't upgrade at the rest at the camps. So the camps are just for healing. Gremlins should be okay. We, we're probably gonna take a bunch of damage um, when Gremlin Leader decides to go off. Do I Echo Form here? Okay, so the benefit of Hyper Beam is that when there are no minions left, Gremlin Leader is less likely to attack me. Maybe that's fine. Maybe I don't actually need Echo Form in this situation. Hyper Beam seems better. No, I think you're right. All right. She decided to attack me anyway? What a jerk. This is fine. We can heal a bunch. I could buffer. I could also hologram into the leap. What does that give me? Not quite enough. I should just buffer, right? Well... Those are the cards I want. What are they doing over there? Wait, why didn't I play Tempest earlier? Oh, I just drew it. Never mind. No, did I just drew it? No, I shuffled. Why didn't I play Tempest earlier to exhaust it? I don't know. Alright, I just want to exhaust stuff, I guess. She's going to summon. I feel bad that I have yet to... I didn't get the Hyper Beam last turn. It's fine, we make up for it this turn. Can I hyperbeam again? I think so. Oh, we didn't draw a card. Ink ink bottle procced. But I guess you can't draw the card you just played. That's fine. Whatever. Hyperbeam. 
Three hyper beams in one turn. Surely that's enough. Reboot. Boot sequence. Boot sequence is not terrible. Some upfront block. Guaranteed block on turn one. Reboot. This one didn't care about her minions. I think the boot sequence is okay. I think the reboot's also okay. They all exhaust, so it doesn't really matter. I can still do the reboot. There's probably situations where I can play Hyper Beam, reboot, and then play Hyper Beam again, because that's exactly four energy. That's so much damage. I think we reboot here. The question is, do I Echo Form first? Or Hyper Beam first? It's going to take three Hyper Beams to kill. 27 is so much damage. I think we Hyper Beam and then reboot. Buffer? We'll still take eight. I guess that's the only choice. Okay. No more Tempest. Ow. Auto Shield, Self Repair, Hyper Beam. It's not great. And I guess we get rid of the Fission. Oh, whoops. There goes the Echo Form. It's fine. Because we're going to kill this turn. It wasn't great. Better things could have happened. Orbs are no good. Claws no good. Leap, I think. We don't need another one. One is enough in this deck. We don't need to heal. So maybe we just go this way and then go through the elite. We're not taking that much damage. And then we go through the shop. Can mark it. <laughs> I, know, I know how to... How to do this. Like that. Should be fine. No, this is fine. Three. Two. Two. And then I want to block some. Seems fine. I want to echo the self-repair. Hyper beam or buffer? Because it doesn't matter at this point. That's what I was looking for. All right, we're down to our five cards. We're down to our deck. This is our deck. How about a double hyper beam? All right, let's go. Flex Potion doesn't seem that good. All we're doing is playing Hyper Beam. <laughs> so it's like a plus five on it. Doesn't do that much. Fire Potion is probably a little bit better. Orb Toss does nothing. Sweeping Beam? It's not terrible. It draws a card. There are probably some cases where it combos into Hyper Beam. It means we have a six card deck. Do I want a six card deck? And it means we can draw draw unreliably as a result. I think we don't need it. I mean, we don't need the damage aspect of it. That's for certain. Mummified hand. It would make it easier to play our powers. Sure, why not? Like these powers. Dang it. 
foiled by ink bottle? <laughs> that is a misplay. Sneckoed. That's pretty good. We have the uh, buffer, so I'm not terribly concerned here. Rainbow has yet to be played. We actually lose an energy in this exchange. Oh, whoops. That was dumb. It's fine. We got Hyper Beam. Back to full health. Rebound Hyper Beam is the thing. I really want a skin. That's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. Skin. Barrage, no. Skim or Plasma Orbs? All right. Book? Book is a little scary. I'm totally okay using the Fire Potion here, though. Leap seems like it's enough for this turn. Echo form is still coming. Static discharge is interesting. Let's get some stuff out. Echo form. Auto oh, we can't auto shield. Oh, I did the order wrong. Oh no. Do I play the self-prepare? No, I think I wait to echo it later. Do I discharge? No, because I can't play any of these things. No, it's fine. We just play everything. Does rebooting help? Not really. Everything's going to cost energy. Uh, it exhausts. That's a good reason to do it. Okay. We got a couple wounds, which is not great. Double buffer? Seems pretty good. Makes this free. Draw a bunch of cards. That's not the card I wanted. This is. All right, a buffer is going to go off, but that's OK. That's lethal. All right, not too bad. Bird face urn, <laughs> heal 2 HP. We're already healing so much anyway, but okay, sure, why not? Fire potion, probably better than an explosive potion for the boss. Oh no, we might run into slavers. One hyper beam plus an explosive potion. Is that going to kill anything? I don't actually think it does. Hologram? I don't hate it. Hologram always useful. Plasma, plasma, plasma. No. Defragment, also no good. Normally I'm excited to see defragment, but not here. I 
Now do I remove auto shields? Or do I save my money to potentially buy something useful? These cards are not useful. Alright. It's like the exact same arrangement. Alright. Not great. Do I play the self-repair? Or do I expect to echo and then play it? No, we'll just play it. It's fine. Vision, at this point, would work with the Tempest. Yeah, I think it's probably worth holding on to. Get him, boys. What boys? You got no boys. Well... Should I just focus on blocking? Hologram, leap, hologram, leap. Gives me 32. Which is pretty good. Pick one. Okay. I need to get cards out. I think Hyper Beam is still fine here. Alright. Six cards. Hyper Beam, thank you. Hologram and do that again. Alright. How do they get down to four cards? Oh, because I removed the steam barrier? Is that what's going on? All right. Anyway, everything is fine. Lantern, start to combat with an extra energy. That's excellent. If we can get uh, Echo Form on turn one, we now can play both it and Hyper Beam. Sneko Oil, I don't think so. Compile Driver. Okay, so this is card draw. Is it good card draw? We never have any orbs. I don't actually think I want it. I think what I want is a reprogram. I never thought I'd say this, but I think what I want is reprogram. And skin. I want skin. I think most of the time the power driver is not going to actually draw me cards. This fight should be totally fine. I just need to play that one more time, which we have a couple uh, holograms, so that should be okay. Hologram, Hyper Beam, easy. That's what we want to do against like jaw worms. That's what we want to do against uh, slimes. Act three should be totally fine. None of these say energy or skim. I guess we recall. I'm still worried about the champ. I guess with full HP, it's fine. With 98 hit points, it should be fine. This face of Cleric is doing tons of work for me. Echo form? Lantern allowing us to echo form and play something else? Do I play the buffer? Probably. I'll have plenty of time. Oh. Maybe just play the rainbow here? Hologram with nothing to do. Alright, losing A buffer. Self repair. We could actually do a ton of damage with Tempest right now. I guess the question is why? And then fission? That's probably fine. We don't need to echo self repair. And then now I'm just getting stuff out of the deck.
All right, doesn't matter. Whatevs. Okay, that's our five cards. Oh, and one of them's a, a reboot. So actually, we only have four cards. He does not attack on turn four. So on turn four, we can hyper beam twice every four turns. Oh, that's not enough block. That's enough block. Oh, I almost. I almost lost a buffer accidentally. I missed the fact that I was vulnerable. I guess we can play three of them. Come at me. This ginger is doing a lot for me. Can't be weakened. Making sure the hyper beam does lots of damage. Do I just hyper beam here? Let the buffer eat it. I don't think I can block enough. 18, 27. Oh, I can. I can leap, leap, hologram, leap. Oh, maybe I do do that. Okay, save my buffer. That's fine. Because now I can do... Auto shields plus leap is enough. So that's fine. Now you're powering up. Also, I believe on turn eight, you still don't attack. I could be wrong. Oh no, you do. Because you're in the other form now. Buffer will eat one of them, and then I think I just take 33 damage. Seems okay. Because you're dead next turn. Alright. That was not enough damage. Because I... Because of the Metallicize. I forgot about the Metallicize. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I guess I could use a potion. I may as well use a potion. Alternately, I just take the damage because I'm going to heal up anyway. I feel like these potions are not that important. It's fine. Okay. I don't have any... All for one doesn't help me. Electrodynamics doesn't help me. Vision doesn't help me. I think we skip here. I mean, we definitely can't beat the heart, right? There's no way to beat the heart with this deck. Yeah, okay. I need to find... I need to find reprogram, I think. I need to up my dexterity so that my blocks actually do something. I do like the nuclear battery. The problem is all the fissions I have and rainbow and all that stuff. Also, do I need more energy at this point? Probably not. Astrolabe? I don't have good targets. Just auto shields. I guess we take the nuclear battery. It lets us get started a little faster. I need a reprogram for scaling, basically. Do I need to go to a shop? I can only hit one shop. I do have to pick up the blue key from the chest. Also, time eater. Well, that's not great. I think that's where the run ends. The run the run is going to end in, against Time Eater. I wonder if I had a recursion, if I can make nuclear battery work. If I had a zero cost recursion, maybe. Okay. 
I guess we go up the left side. I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for here. I want to go to the shop. I'm not sure if I'm fighting elites. Maybe I am. I guess I am. Nemesis is kind of a pain. The head might be a pain as well. It's not great. Okay. We'll see. We'll see how much health we have. Right. So the problem here is the thorns. Thirty-four. Do I care about the thorns? How much do I care about thorns? Maybe I don't care about thorns at all. All right. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Let's uh let's buffer up. Draw a card. I don't need the energy anymore. Auto shield says nothing. Get rid of that junk. Let's, so we have minus three focus, but this will still do something. Did I play the self repair? I'm at full health. Oh, I got full health from the bird, urn. From the urn, urn face bird. I don't think I want any of these. Reprogram. Why? This game, where I don't want the fragments, I've seen him twice. Instead, I want to reprogram, and I've seen zero. Give me a stinking reprogram. Come on. The Metal Gear Kid's not too bad. Looked like you need an ice cream cone. I don't think an ice cream cone helps me. I mean, I do have extra energy, but like, without card draw, it's not going to do anything for me. The Metal Gear Kid is good in that... So the, 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 this deck only has four real cards. And so Metal Kit will be good in that it can get rid of wounds and such. So I don't hate that. Also, Cultist Potion? That's maybe a solution to something, to a boss. Maybe? Not a lot. It's not going to do that much more. All of our damage comes from Hyper Beam. So it's like pretty incremental. If I had a barrage or something. So I don't think it's Ritual Potion. I think it's maybe Medical Kid and then I just move on. It might just also be I move on. But there's likely no more shops on this floor. Or this act. And then there's only the act four shop. So I got plenty of time to make money. We'll take the Medical Kit. Oh, and then do we remove a card? I could remove auto shields. Auto shields is kind of meh. It's fine. Uh, we're going to fight because this will be no problem. Because we have hyper beam. And we got a buffer. Hmm. I think I buffer here. I was considering the option of hologram hyperbeaming again, but that uses one energy. I don't think I want to. I think I would rather reboot. Nope, didn't get it. But auto shield is pretty good actually. All right. Save the buffer. Hyperbeam. Orbs, card draw. And we're done. All right. Piece of cake. Peace pipe. Peace pipe is actually really nice because we have fusion hammer. Uh, Peace pipe lets you remove a card at the rest sites. 
Do I want another hologram? I don't hate the holograms, even though they're hologram minus. It gives me ways to use my energy that I seem to pick up from fission. Fission plus, or regular fission. Everybody dead. Cool, cool, cool. Let's move on. Reinforced body. Does that help me? It could. Especially with echo form. I think this is fine. Previously, our best block card was leap. But I think reinforced body. We can get a ridiculous amount of block. 70, 72 block with it. Four energy doubled, echo formed. Oh, whoops, I should have buffered first. Doesn't really matter. Uh, seven, yep, that's fine. Okay, everything's dead. Everything is dead. None of our powers matter. Oh, except Echo Form. Amplifying Echo Form would be real nice. That seems like a very limited use case, and then Amplify is just going to stick around in my hand, and I'm not going to want it, so... I think that's not an option. This is all junk. Do we go ahead and fight? I think the elites are fine. And actually with 103 hit points, it's totally gotta be fine, right? We'll fight two or three elites as we head out. Let's do that. This is a little wasteful. Okay. Auto shields? Sure. This would give me 16. I could also just buffer and then reboot. Definitely buffer. Oh, this costs zero. Okay, we're doing it. For zero, sure. This will make hologram cost zero? That doesn't really help, does it? Well, I guess we do it anyway. Single self-repair? Because we did... Wait. We did not echo form. I'm a little worried about the 45 damage. But I'm glad we have the, uh, Sag's Discharge doesn't seem at all useful in this deck. Yeah, I mean, everything, everything in this deck came from Pandora's Box. We did Boss Relic Swap into Pandora's Box. The weird thing, almost every single one of those cards, sorry, this probably overlaps the text really bad. Oh yeah, that is completely unreadable, huh? How about that? Uh, almost every single card we got from the Pandora's Box exhausts is either a power or exhaust. Everything except Hyper Beam. Fission, Static, Discharge, Rainbow Minus, Fission, Hologram Minus, Buffer, Tempest. All of them exhaust or are powers. So basically we were given the perfect deck for an infinite, except for the part where we have no energy and we have no card draw, so we can't actually make an infinite. Instead, we're just, like, chilling. Uh, anyway, Nemesis is going to do the big 21 or 45 damage thingy. Oh, but I have buffer. Well, I'll have one buffer. So maybe I sell the, save the self-repair to be able to heal, to echo it. Rainbow seems fine here. I'm going to get a bunch of burns, which sucks, but what can you do? I 
At least I can get rid of them pretty easily. Do I play the self-repair hoping it hits the echo form? Didn't I save the self-repair so I could echo it? Here I am not echoing it. I'm going to take damage here, aren't I? Shoot. I'm going to take 7 damage. Too bad. Oh, I should have played the leap first. I'm stupid. Get out of here. I could... S no, I want to echo. I want to echo the self-repair. Well... Do I just block a bunch? I don't need to. I could play other stuff. If I double hologram, I could play hyper beam. Is that correct? Because this is enough. Oh, he's intangible. That's fine. Hey, let me play another burn. This is why I waited. Although now he's going to do the 45 attack. Damn it. This didn't, this, this, this didn't work out at all. I'm a bumbling fool. I guess we keep waiting to echo the self-repair. Okay, if I hyperbeam twice, then I have 18. That's not... Ideal. Uh, but, it, oh, he's intangible. He's intangible. Okay, I don't need to attack this turn. We're just blocking. Halipers would be nice here. Maybe he'll give me calipers. Haha! -ha. Self repair. What I have been waiting to do the whole time. Oh, wait. I thought... Never mind. I don't know why I thought I could do that twice. Cool. Haha. Uh -huh. I don't care about your 45. Oh, wait. I forgot to play the burns. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, I can pull in a burn. All right. More burns. Well, that's not great. Ow. Ow. This is fine. I think we're finally out of this fight. We're not out of this fight? I would like to be out of this fight, please. There we go. Hyper Beam for one. Sundial? Okay. Sundial. Wait a minute. Now I think we can go infinite. Because I could lose energy. We just need two cards that draw. Uh, that draw two cards? No, drawing one is enough. Like, two sweeping beams would be enough. It's not ideal, because we don't gain any block in the process. And we want to gain block, especially if we want any chance against the heart. But there's no way for me to draw and gain block, because I have no focus. Huh. Also, we're fighting Time Eater, so maybe we just skip. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, looking at the map, I think this is my plan. We're just elite chopping. It is probably time to drink this potion. I could have done it last battle too. Let's do this. That's fine. 
I could hologram first. Yeah. Echo form. I'll take a little bit of damage. Seems fine. That's too much damage. Double buffer seems great. We can even draw some cards. Reboot? Well, I do want the Ascender's Bane to go away. I don't mind using a buffer here. Oh, I don't need to. This gives me plenty of block. All right. There's a gnat. This is probably fine. I can get up to... Well, I guess this is better than nothing. I lose one buffer, it's fine. Hyper Beam should end it. I should maybe have echoed the self-repair. Meh. Toke? Remove the auto shields. We gotta take the key. We don't need to rest. I don't know what we're poking at this point. I guess we get rid of stuff. Like static discharge. It kind of works with a mummified hand. It could save energy at times. What if I got rid of... These cards are all fine. I can maybe get rid of the leap, actually. Do I need the leap if I have the reinforced body? It's like marginally better. But most times, it's probably not. But maybe I want more than one block card. Let's give it a static discharge. It's not really doing anything. All right, sideways head. I think this will be okay. Rainbow, Vision. I guess we do this. I will save the hologram. It seems like it might be useful. Hologram minus. I basically want this echo form. Free hyper beam. More hyper beam. So now we have five cards. These are our final cards. I don't even need to echo the self repair. I think we're just doing damage. Do I want to? Oh yeah, this is fine actually.
I want to save two energy. No, I, I just want to save one energy. That was the wrong order. I could have done a little bit more damage. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, we have two uh, buffers, so we're just going to go. Is this going to do enough damage? Maybe I should have been blocking. I should have played... Well, no, because then I can play it twice. Hmm, I'm not sure. This is not going to work, is it? We're not going to quite get there. Hmm. I did not think this through very well. I was like, it'll be fine. Sundial? Oh! I totally forgot about Sundial. Alright, maybe everything will be fine. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Tony's playing this game at a major league gaming level, am I? It's definitely a very weird... Very weird things are happening. You're only messing up like half of your turns? Am I messing them up? I can't tell. Am I gonna... Am I gonna get hit once by this thing? No, everything's fine. Because of Sundial. Sundial saved me. Yeah, everything seems fine. I'm at full health. Darkstone Periap, whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by 6. I'm not going to be, hopefully, obtaining any curses, so that's kind of worthless. I guess I'll take a Fear Potion. Aggregate does nothing in our 15 card deck. Compile Driver does nothing in our Orbless deck. Scrape, also not useful. Well, we're not healing the full. We're not upgrading all cards because... We don't really have that many cards, so I guess we're fighting a boss from Act 1? Sure. Hey, we fought him earlier. Welcome back. Reboot or Fission? I guess Fission is fine. Well, that's not what I wanted. I guess I can Hyper Beam again? Sure. Why not? All right, everything is fine. Double hologram? For block? Wow, that feels real bad. My, my one block card leap? Oh no, Reinforced Body is my other block card. I guess we do this. This is fine. This. All right. We're down to seven cards. I think we double leap. So we can do that. And this. 20. That's totally fine. All right. This guy's not hurting me. Does this transform him? It does. Cool. Let's exhaust that. Everything is fine. All right. No problem. Emotion chip. If you lost HP during your previous turn, trigger the passive ability of all orbs at the start of your turn. The problem is I don't have any orbs most of the time, so that's not going to do anything. These things all make orbs. I don't really care about orbs, so I guess we're skipping. Cool. Let's fight another elite. Draw more cards, play more cards. 
reboot here. I would love to see an echo form. That's not it. It's fine. We just hyper beam. There's echo form. I'd like the hyper beam. I think I have to hologram into the hyper beam. Now I could play the self repair here, which will make either it or echo form cost zero. Wrong one. Well, it was worth a shot. Our buffer will save us. We lose the echo form, but that's okay because I think we can kill this turn. Even without Sundial. No problem. We just walked all over them. White Beast Statue? Potions always appear in combat rewards? Well, we're not really using potions, but okay. Explosive Potion? Probably not any better than what we have. These are not Skim. These are not uh, Plasma. Something good? Hey, Echo Form. Echo Form is excellent. Uh, do I just let the hologram go? I think so. Hologram minus. Constrict. So now we're taking 37 damage, which is not awesome. I think we double buffer. That'll keep us safe for a long time. We can draw some more cards. So what are we going to do when he's attacking? I guess we either will reinforce body to block, block out everything, or we can double leap and play a single hyper beam. I can do this plus a self repair into another hyper beam. All right. Get rid of you. Actually, get rid of you too. Cool. We should be able to kill him next turn. All right, no problem. Strength potion? No, I don't think that helps me. Well, it's maybe better than a fire potion. I don't know. It would take it would take a lot of hyper beams for it to do more than twenty damage. Self repair plus. Not like I need the self repair at this point. That's not entirely true. It could be useful if we take a bunch of damage on first Act 3 boss, second Act 3 boss, we can get a bunch of health back. Same thing with the Act 4 elites. If we eat it on turn 2, we could get a bunch of hit points back. And we have the Mummified Hand, and we have the Urn, Birdface Urn, making it not terrible. Okay. I've convinced myself. It's fine. We're not resting. I guess we're toking. Are we toking? What do I remove at this point? I could remove self repair minus. But I actually kind of like having both. I don't think I want to remove any of these things. These cards are all fine. Maybe Tempest? Tempest is maybe dumb? Mostly I use Tempest and Rainbow to power the fissions. And the fissions are actually really good when there are three... three orbs. It's less good with Tempest... well, it, it does card draw. It's fine with Tempest. But maybe I just want to keep everything. Maybe I take out a hologram minus? I probably don't need that many. All right. Okay, I'm not sure how this is going to work. But we did get echo form turn one, so that's good. I 
I guess we buffer the big hit. And I was saying I probably want to echo the self-repairs. Is that true? Otherwise I get hyperbeam this turn. I'm not sure how important that is. I think we just want to get to our base set of cards. Well, that's bad. Let's echo this. And then let's get some new cards. That's not much better. I have a bunch of fissions coming, so I think Rainbow is okay. Okay, I've played too many cards. But it's okay. I turned my PV line back to normal levels and it's great. Excellent. That's what I want to hear. I'm just going to take a lot of damage here, I think. Because whatever I play is going to make him stronger and then I just take 30 damage. Hmm, that's awesome. Cool. I'm going to heal 34 after this fight. So... Maybe it's okay. What did that put him at? Three? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's probably good. Thirty. It's actually going to be thirty-six. Do I just block? Yeah, but the next turn, if I reinforce body twice, I won't proc him, and I do want to proc him. It is actually troubling how many cards I play each turn. I didn't think this was that type of deck. I think we just block here. I'm worried about that slime. I maybe did that in the wrong order and I could have played the slime out. It would have cost me more cards though. Because the slimes are getting in my way. Nine plus twenty-four. I need to do some damage, right? Wait. I can do damage next turn. It's fine. OBS is a really nice piece of open source software. Wow, is that really what I drew? I didn't draw my blocks. Uh that's really problematic, huh? I'm not sure I'm gonna make it through this fight. It's not looking great. Do I proc him? I don't think so. Man, oh man, this is not going well. But then I end up with these slimes in my deck. I don't want the slimes in my deck. Six. Yeah, this deck... This deck seemed great until now. I mean, I knew it was never going to win against the heart, but I thought I would get to the heart. I think I get rid of one of the cards. And then next turn... I can play Reinforced Body twice. Stop attacking me, please. Okay. I only need to do 36 damage. Oh, that's not 36. To proc him into Foolish Foolish. So I guess I do the Hyper Beam. And then I block 18. That doesn't sound right. 18 is not enough. I guess I can do block 21. 21 is still not great. Then I'm taking 17. I think I gotta not take damage. 
But then he's just going to put junk in my deck. Yeah, you're right. I can do more stuff. I have lots of energy. Reinforced body and I'm done. Alright, that seems fine. That was weird. I don't know why my cards drew like that. Okay. Same situation. Should I just use a potion to proc it? And just end turn. So I don't tick up the timer. I didn't get rid of the slimes, but that's okay. I think. That was not okay. I gotta get these slimes out. Ugh. Well, I know next turn... Yeah, because I need reinforced body. I need to reliably draw a reinforced body. I, I echoed the slime. Yup, because I need this now. I can't do this every turn, though. But he doesn't attack every turn, right? Why is he attacking again? I don't think he can do that more than twice in a row. Blocking is your way to victory? <laughs> Well, I'm just waiting. Oh, I was gonna play my potion! Shoot. Dang. Mistakes were made. Face damage is my way to victory. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I think I can kill him though, right? How much does this do? 50, 51 damage, right? 51... Times three? All right, we got it. No problem. Heal 34 plus one, 35. All right. I'm glad we got rid of the static discharge. The self repairs, I'm not exactly sure how they're gonna work. All right, goodbye, goodbye cultists. Uh, echo form, or not. Draw my deck. Echo form and reboot? I think I do play the echo form. I really want the echo form, right? I don't think I play the buffer until I transform him. It's going to mean I have a lot of cards in my deck. I guess that's okay. Do I just play the Fission now, or do I wait for the Tempest? Well, that's not what I wanted. Alright. Taking some damage. It's okay. I hope. 40. 40 is a lot. Reinforced body. Sure. This guy we can afford to just block and waste turns. All he does is heal himself. That's fine. That doesn't bother me. What do I do here, though? If I hyper beam, which is what I want to do, I can only get 18 block, and I take 6. Is that okay? Maybe that's okay. I mean, I do want to kill him. Now we can... Here I think we need to leap twice. Oh, we can leap hologram leap. Why don't you want me to kill this uh, burb? 
Also, why does he have a knife in him? Who put the knife there? It's just wildlife? It looks- it appears sentient. I don't think it's just wildlife. But that might just be me rationalizing. Double leap? No, we have extra energy. It's just defending itself because you interrupted his sleep. Oh. I see, I see. That, that's why he's the awakened one. Okay, okay, I can believe that. That's probably true. I am the bully. That's the ritual dagger. Why is the ritual dagger? Oh, because of the cultists. The cultists came with the ritual dagger. Wait, if you if you steal the ritual dagger, does he not have it? Have the dagger stuck in him? The most relatable enemy of all time just wants to sleep. Hey, Thumb Power. How's it going? We're slowly taking damage, but it's okay, because he's going to die soon. Okay, 34, no, oh, that's 68. That's not enough. Why not? I guess you picked up a Ritual Dagger, not THE Ritual Dagger. I see, I see. Bird always has the thing sticking out of it. Okay. Now we can play our powers. But I think I want to echo my powers. Although I guess self-repair doesn't matter that much. So maybe I play my self-repairs to shrink my deck. Hit Hologram. Alright, good job. Oh wait, I was confusing my upcoming cards with my discard. It's fine though, because we're going to double buffer. We're going to play some other things for free. Ooh, can I... If I gain 9, I'll put me at 38. That's not enough. So that's... Sorry, Hyper Beam. Next turn. It's fine. We are in great shape now. 21 is fine. Oh, buffer! 21 is not fine. I wish you had 5 cards instead of 4. Well, there you go. Now I have 5 cards. I think we block this out. If I hyper beam first, that'll leave me at three. That's only 27. That's nowhere close to enough. I'm going to manually get rid of the void. Okay, okay. Let's not make this mistake like last time. I guess we double leap. And only play one hyper beam. Oh, we can play two because of the sundial. Make mistakes? Why? You're more human and relatable if you make mistakes, drag it down to my level. Well, but I think even the best players make quite a few mistakes. Sundial, coming through again. Well, now we only have three energy. This is this is a slow. We we don't actually have any scaling damage. Is kind of the problem. Is one of many problems with this deck.
So doing like a 34 damage on most turns is like not not that much. Oh, Sundial! Oh, I wasted it. I could have done one more. It's fine. It's fine. The ink bottle triggered it. I mean, we're definitely winning this fight. It's just very slow going. Can I hyperbeam twice? I can hyperbeam three times, that's still not enough to kill him. This is fine. Alright. I think the number of misplays counter second 21. <laughs> no, it looks okay. Misplay from your part. Well, there were probably plenty of times where we didn't we didn't trigger the misplay counter, so it's okay. I mean if it didn't see the message. I think this is enough. Wait, 34? No, that's not enough. Oh, I mismathed. Typical. But I got the buffers, so let's let's just go ahead. Go ahead with it. All right, no problem. 111 hit points, not bad. We picked up Face of the Cleric on floor two. So we basically carry, which is the earliest you could possibly get it, right? You can't, you can't get the first floor one is always combat. So the earliest you could possibly get face of cleric, we picked up on floor two, and so we've we've harvested a lot of hit points. You must play like five times against the head, but yeah. Misplay one is not synonymous with being stuck either. Yeah, missing one is yeah. That's true. Well, I don't think there's anything we need to remove here. Like, yeah, I don't think we need to remove anything. I may as well rest, go up to full HP before I fight the things. It's like 14 hit points, why not? Beam Cell. Beam Cell's kind of interesting. Potions are interesting. These are not very interesting potions, but in theory, potions are interesting. These have been very terrible shops. The shops have been very bad. I don't think upgrading cards helps. Is toolbox useful? Reroll the shop. I didn't not know how to do that, but you're an expert. I don't I don't think I can reroll the shop. I don't think that's a thing. I'm gonna take the beam cell because I feel like the extra damage, the extra 17 damage from hyper beam might might matter. I'm not sure why exactly. There's no way we're killing the heart though, right? The heart at best case we're doing a hundred damage a turn. Beam cell, no, not even. Yeah, I don't I don't know what we're doing. The problem is Okay, so beam cell beam cell is bad. Is beam cell bad? The problem is we want to play it before we play hyper beam, but echo form the hyper beam. And there's no way to play the beam cell without wasting the hyper or the echo form on. Although I guess it applies too vulnerable in that case, and so the following turn we could then then do it. So maybe that's okay. 
Okay, maybe Beam Cell is okay. Let's buy this. And then we may as well just drink it and buy the other potions. And then remove a card. There's nothing to remove. There, there's nothing left in this deck. Do I need the leap? I think so. Because sometimes you need the block before you play cards. Um to like for the beat or whatever. So I think the leap plus is fine. Yeah, leap is good. Leap plus is good. I could get rid of this hologram minus. Because now that we've gone through, now that we've made a, now that there are no more hallways, I feel like the hologram minus is not that useful. It was useful in hallways to do an extra hyper beam to end the fight. But I feel like that's less of a thing now. All right. Also, I want to die a poor man. Dying with a bunch of money does not help anybody. Well, I guess I'm taking some damage. <laughs> do I do this? Do I draw one card? I mean, it could be junk. And maybe I'd rather have the energy. The Plasma Orb. It's going to be really... A, I'm going to take a bunch of damage right now. And then B... I don't need the energy, so let's just do a regular fission. Because I would like to take less damage this turn. I would like the possibility of taking less damage this turn. And next turn is going to be screwed if we can't do something. Leap. Well, that's less damage this turn. That's something. Okay, okay. I will take that. That is acceptable. Well, we got a reboot. That's pretty good. Let's get these out. Oh, ink bottle. Didn't see that coming. That's pretty good, actually. That almost full blocks. I don't hate it. I want to play Echo Form and Buffer. I guess I can play Buffer, or, sorry, I can play Hologram and then Buffer. And then Echo Form will be free. And then I take 12, 6 damage. Reboot? No, because I can't play anything. Well, no, I can play a beam cell. It caused a sundial. That's so good, actually. Wait, is that so good? No, it's kind of good. I think we just keep facing this way because of the buffers. Okay, I want to echo the self repairs. Well, okay, I I guess I'm doing that. Uh, do I want to? Why just take the damage? 
these potions don't cause me to turn around. Some potions do cause you to turn around, but these do not. I think I just want to echo itself the pair, so this is fine. Is that too much damage? I can block two of them and then hologram into one more and then I take some damage. Can I kill it? Well, the beam cell is gone, so I don't think so. These guys are taking you to school. It's fine. We're going to heal up 30, 34, 35. We just got to preserve hit points a little. I could hyper hyper. No, that's not enough. The rainbow is actually a problem right now. I didn't fission it. All right. So here, if I turn around, if I self-repair, I can leap hologram leap. He's doing, what, 40 damage? Wait. Yeah, he's doing 40. 24. 29, I'll take 11. Hmm. I could full block and turn around. I don't love that either. Because they are buffing. Forty damage. I would take eleven. Yeah, I think I'd probably still do this. Turn around. Actually, I don't need to turn around. Applying vulnerable doesn't do anything either, though. But I think I do want to face this way because it's going to be attacking. Also, I might not get hyper beam. I was only doing twenty. That's a little. We got Hyper Beam. Whoa! Hello, Merle! Thank you for the raid! How is it going? Hello, Air. Hello, Kuro. Thank you for the follow, Wizard. Thank you for the follow, Merle. And hello, Flower. Thank you for all the follows. Wow, so many follows. Thank you, Miller Time and Booster and Yeah. This this deck is not gonna work against the heart. But it's been a very fun game. And we'll get to the heart. But we're definitely dying here. I tried I tried to I tried to go infinite, Merle. I, I, I did my best to go infinite, but I could not find any of the cards necessary to go infinite. I couldn't find plasma orbs. I couldn't find any skims. It didn't work because... Oh, that is a command. It's only for mod stuff. Check out this Pandora's box. Here, let me hide this. This, this Pandora's box. Perfect for the infinite gamer. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't make it work. I tried really hard. Too too late. Thank you for the follow. Uh Marshall, thank you for the follow. Jacob, thank you for the follow. Inganol, thank you for the follow. Grizzly Bear. Alright, we can at least. Do this. Merle is the new IC. Yeah, Mer Merle is the new uh, LC, life coach. Merle is the new life coach, basically. My guys, you have no focus. Oh yeah, we're, we're all hyper beam all the time. We only have... We, we don't need focus. I kind of want to get the rainbow out, but it's fine. Oh, the burns. The burns maybe make it not fine. 
I think we can full block. 9 times 8, that's 72. Oh, that's not full block. He's doing more than 72. Well, it's pretty close. That's a lot of max HP for a robot. Yeah. Floor, floor 2, uh, face of cleric. Yeah. Uh, it, it was a pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good face of cleric. I think I still just block and I'm sad. Take 11. All right. Hyperbeam will kill the one on the right. It'll turn me around. Minus 15 orbs. Hyperbeam. We, we just hyperbeaming. I think that's still right. We just hyperbeam twice. We leap and reinforce body. That gives us 21 block. He's attacking for 40, 41. We take 20 damage. Is that the best we can do? Take 20. Twenty one. Self repair what we can. I mean, I guess we still do this. Get this out of my deck. This doesn't do anything, but fine. All right, and we're done. We get 34 hit points back, 72, that's not terrible. Energy potion, I don't, maybe helps us more than an explosive pot. Skim, more cards should set up bottle. You are correct, vegetable red. Yes, more cards would have set up bottle. Or Calcum will save you, yeah. I think the skim is good though. Especially with the, uh, it'll help trigger Sundial more frequently. Um, and so it, it's not going to be an infinite, but it, it'll it be better than what we had before. Meteor Strike is Meteor Strike. I mean, we're not going to be able to play it most of the time. Only Sundial Energy is, is really going to get us there. Oh, I guess it, it gives itself energy. I think card draw, though, is more important. Because... It sustains itself. Yeah, the energy part, you're right. It sustains itself, but it doesn't sustain... Uh, th there's nothing to do with the energy. I guess the energy goes into reinforced body. Yeah, we're not really cycling orbs, so maybe it's okay. Because then, it, then we just dump everything into re reinforced body. Yeah. Well, I mean... Hologram hyperbeam once. Okay, okay. Meteor strike. Because focus down is fine. We will drink our strength pot. How much do I care about chip damage? Hyperbeam, Tempest, Fission, I think, just for card draw. Skim's a gamer? Yeah, Skim Skim seems closer to the infinite. That was the first Skim I saw. I was looking for it the whole time. Sundial with Hollow Skim kind of kind of works. You're not winning with hard with the current deck. Might as well take the chance. It pushes almost the most damage Hyper Beam, though, and our only possible win is killing before you use all of our HPS resource. Yeah, I think that's correct, Jacob. Yes, because doing a couple or even three hyper beams a turn is probably not enough to get us there. Sundial hollow skim. So hollow skim uses two energy. Sundial gives us two energy. But we would have to skim twice, right? You have to proc twice. Two shuffles, right? Yeah, it's close. 
Okay. We're taking some chip, it's fine. We're just trying to fish for stuff. Do I hologram first to get some block? And then I'm just getting rid of self-repair, right? I think I want to get rid of more cards, so I think I reboot here. Yeah, I need another draw card. You can play buffer to stop that annoying chip damage. <laughs> it's true. That that is an option. Oh, echo form. Did I mess up? Wait. Energy potion? Oh, but that's not great either. I kind of wanted the energy potion later. And I lost my plasma orb. I think I have to use the energy potion now. And then hope that Sundial and Meteor Strike come at the same time. Yeah, there's no choice here. I need the Echo Farm, right? All right. That's fine. Buffer no good here. Wow, nothing no good here. Everything is bad. Even the invoking uh, frost orbs won't give me any block. I guess I beam cell so he's vulnerable next turn, and then remove the wound and the self repair, and call it. And I'm just tanking the damage. There's nothing else to do, right? Or a Calcum. Saving me valuable six hit points. Uh oh. Well, that might be the end. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to do here. I needed the hologram for buffer. Oh, that still wouldn't have worked. Yeah, hologram for buffer would have worked. But yeah, I don't think there's anything to do here. Uh, oh, Ink Bottle! Ink Bottle's gonna go. Wait, it can still happen. And Sundial! Ink Bottle... Oh no, only if we draw enough cards. Uh, what do I play though? Do I play the Fission? I think we play hologram. <laughs> Is that enough? <laughs> Don't worry, you're healing for 17 out of this fight. I think this is fine. Uh, one of them is going to be eaten up by the beat, but that's fine. And then we'll eat the the second buffer. Will be for the 67. Everything is fine. I mean, fine. I don't know about fine. We got Meteor Strike? Do I leap first so I don't take damage? I think so. Oh, wait. Oh, did Buffer make it zero? Oh, oh, it did, but we couldn't play it anyway because we were taking chip damage. It's fine. I think we double leap so we don't take chip damage and then Meteor Strike once. Or do we double the Meteor Strike, take some chip damage? How much does chip damage matter at this point? Double Meteor? Double Meteor Strike lets you Hyper Beam too. I also don't know what my strategy is with Fission. 
Because I don't want to fission if I'm and lose all my plasma orbs if I can't get them back. I guess we want the damage because we're racing, right? This will go out on its own. I want to save the energy for reinforced body. Seems okay. I only need 60 block. So seven energy is enough. Hologram into Meteor Strike. Yeah, follow the Meteor Strike. Yeah, double hollow for meteor, hollow. Yeah, I think that's right. And we get it back. So before we meteor strike, oh, I guess it doesn't matter when we beam cell. All right. How much more stuff can I play? Oh, I should have rainbowed first. Just to make it uh, exhaust. I can still go back for it. Get it back. What did I say? I needed seven. So slimed, get rid of the slime. Take one damage, seems fine. All right, seems fine. Do we just keep double meteor striking? It says 10 energy. <laughs> uh, yeah, emotion chip giving value. So I only need uh, 47, so that's five, six. I need six. Six energy for reinforced body. Um, I, I guess I do it. No, because I can't really do more stuff this time. So I think we go ahead and leap first, so we get some... Thank you for the follow, Death Tentacle. I think it's fine to do the leap first. Reinforce for max. Well, but we don't need that much, right? Although I do want to get the Fission out. I do think we Fission before we do the Meteor Strike, but I think we can go ahead and block first. There's also maybe an argument for beam selling twice so we can make them vulnerable. That's probably not important. You probably want, because you also want, yeah, we could double beam cell because you also want emotion chip again. Hmm. That's an argument maybe for double meteor strike more. Like wouldn't I rather have the extra energy? Only one of the beam cells is going to get through. And I guess we want damage cap this turn. I have to do 560 before you die to beat of death. Yeah, so I guess I have three turns basically, and I want to get max, max damage as much as possible. And now we can leap. I think fission is fine here then Meteor Strike, and then Reinforce Body. Mainly because I... Oh wait, it's gonna draw three cards? Yeah, but it might miss Meteor Strike. So I think I have to Fission first and then Meteor Strike. Can Meteor cause Fission to draw? We'll draw a Hologram to replay it, right? Oh, but it's going to shuffle the deck. 
Do you fission at all here? I I want to I want to get it out of the deck. If we get it out of the deck, we're down to five cards. Is that right? No, six cards. If we fission, we're going to shuffle the deck, and then so Meteor Strike will no longer be there if we go first. Also, Ink Bottle. Oh. Yeah, I think we start with Fission. I think we have to start with Fission. Then Meteor. Now we have a lot of energy. Um... And we hollow it. And that's the best we can do, because now we're out of cards. We didn't get enough damage, actually, because now it means we have three more turns. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. 411 is not great. We'll draw the last card uh, when the ink bottle procs. I guess we just keep taking the beat. We take four this turn, four this turn, six next turn. That puts us at four hit points. I guess that's okay. It feels a little scary. But we want the extra energy next turn, so it's fine. You want the double hyper though? Oh, bigger damage. No need for this energy. You are correct. You're right. That would have been better. Oh. We can still double hyper. Yeah, we should have we should have done one more hyper. Although maybe it doesn't matter. It would it, it's a difference of seven. Oh, uh, play the reinforced body just for the ink bottle. All right. So if we can survive this turn, I think we're okay. And we need the energy for the reinforced body. So I think we start with Meteor Strike. I think this will work out, right? And then we Hologram. Is that right? Oh, maybe not. Are we going to have enough upfront block? Because the leap is, because we missed the leap. I'm not sure. Because we're taking three per beat now. I think this is still correct. Four hit points is plenty, right? Then we hologram. I get ink bottle after four cards. Yeah, but... Hologram gives me nine hit points. I can only play... Two cards. Like, I think we can only hologram and then... Yeah, we're not gonna have enough block. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is 140 enough? What if, what if, what if I just reinforce body now and then beam cell? Can we kill next turn? Yeah, reinforce body and then beam cell. Set ink bottle to nine and then next turn we kill? He'll be vulnerable? Seems possible. Seems okay. We gotta do 133. He's vulnerable.
Hyper Beam. We gotta leap, right? We gotta get some up front block. I don't know if this is enough damage. 54, hologram, 54, 39. Yeah, okay, that, that seems like enough. Thirty-nine? All right, that's enough. I did not think that that was going to work at all. Uh, yeah, it was the weirdest run ever. Who doubted Meteor Strike? Tell me. I considered scam, but who knew? That seemed so dead like twelve turns ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we did almost die. Uh, Ink Bottle saved us. <laughs> Do not disappoint with 200 viewers. Yeah. <laughs> GG's. Uh, let's, uh... Here, I'll, 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 I'll look at the, uh, the, the stats. I love this game when I don't have to click cards myself. <laughs> it, it's more fun watching others. Uh, so it was really weird. Uh, the Pandora's box at the beginning, very strange. Everything exhausted. Uh, I really wanted to go infinite with it, but I couldn't find a single skim until, until Act 4 Elites, even after going to lots of shops. Um, also no plasmas. Uh, what else was super weird? Oh yeah, face of the cleric on, on floor two. Excellent, excellent swap. I don't think that the deck wins fights on average. I had to work that one. Yeah. I mean, the hallways were all easy. And then things just got weird. Uh... Early echo form. Oh, it doesn't show what the other options were. Yeah, Hyper Beam is a hallway killer. Beat of Death is one of the coolest mechanics in video games. We almost died to it. It was it was very close. Time Eater was also really hard. <laughs> took took a lot of damage against Time Eater. Uh, but the two self repairs echoed, brought us back. Awakened one was fine. Anyway, very strange run. 